Okay, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How Good are evening. you? I'm fine. Nice. It's good to see you. Well, um, there are just a few students in this moment in the connected, but I'm I'm sure they will they will connect right sooner or later. <laughs> Okay, just give me a moment because I'm looking for the class presentation in this moment. Today is the class number 15. Class 15. We are going to finish on Monday. Okay. So today's topic will be about the past. Oh, Miguel, don't worry. Okay, class 15. Today is Friday, June 16th, 2023. At the end of the class, you will be able to describe the important past events in the life of a famous person. That was the assignment for today. So first, we are going to have a recalling previous knowledge. Then we are going to practice pronunciation of past tense. And then we are going to listen to your presentations talking about the life events of a famous deaf person or the biography of a famous deaf person. Okay, so I just have some questions. How was your day? Tell me, how was your day? Did you have a busy day today? What did you do? Yes. Can you tell me, guys? How was your day? In my case, I, I am busy. I am busy today because um, there are many students for to, to do in the homework. And I help you. I oh. help them. Are you a teacher, Ruth? Yes, I am a teacher. I didn't know you are my colleague. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Do you think I am reforced? I am reforced to the math, math, no, subject, subject. Oh, mm -hmm. you reinforce math. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I work well, particular. Okay. Particular. You are like a tutor, a math tutor. Different so, subjects. Different subjects. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Include English. Include English. Including English. Yes. Yes, because you are learning English. So now you can also tutor English. <laughs> English subjects. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you, Ruth. So your days are busy. Yes, I am busy. You are busy. Okay. Now, any other person would like to share if you had a busy day or what did you do today to practice the past tense? What did you do today? In my oh, case, I, I woke up at 6 a.m. and I went to swim. There's a swimming pool near my house and I went. Um, I swam for an hour. Later, I came home and I had breakfast. And later, I went to the supermarket to do some shopping. <laughs> okay, David, thank you. Nice. It's very, it, it's very nice that you go swimming, that you can go swimming in the mornings. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, who else? My day it was very busy too. Earlier I went with my daughter to the doctors and the uh, by the afternoon 
I stay with my mother. She was sick right now. And I'm here with her. Yes, we can see, Margarita, that you are in the hospital taking care of your mother. Oh, you're a good daughter. <laughs> okay, so yes, that's busy. You're busy now. Okay. Thank you for your participation, guys. Um, well, first, we're going to start by um, reviewing the pronunciation of past things. When we talk up or when we use we talk about the past, we need to use the past tense of verbs. Verbs in past can be regular and irregular. But with regular verbs, we know to make a, a verb in past, we add ed. Remember? Walk, walked. We add ed. ed, ed, ed. We add ed to the verb. Now, uh, the regular verbs have three ways to pronounce in the past tense. The three forms are these ones that you can see in the slide. T, d, and id. T, d, and id. So, um, over here, you will tell me what is the correct pronunciation of the verb that you can see in the slide. For example, the first verb here is walked, walked. So what is the correct uh, pronunciation? What is the, 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 the correct pronunciation? The the sound. Exactly, it's the walked, walked. Okay, t, t, walked. Okay, can you pronounce this? Visit in the past? Visited. 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 Okay, what about this? Miss? Miss. 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 Miss, miss, miss. Uh huh. Mist. T sound. The sound to T. Yes. Okay. Then we have a stay. A stayed. 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 Yes. Continued. 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 News. <laughs> yeah. I want to change the color <laughs> because this is green. Oops, sorry. Okay, in the next slide, we continued. <laughs> we continued. Continues. Mm -hmm. yes. Looked. Look out. 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 Recording. 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 progress. Recording. Recorded. Okay. Ended. And stop. So don't forget that when we speak in the past, we need to pronounce correctly the ED forms. Okay? I will tell you some verbs and you give me the past form. Okay. Want. Wanted. Wanted. Yes. Correct. Walk. Walked. Walk. 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 Walked. 
walked. Walked. Watch. Watched. Watched. Watched now. Watched. 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 Okay. And what about a progress? Progress. 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 Mm -hmm. Finish. Finish. Finished. 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 What? He's. His. 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 H I. What means? What is that? H I S. K I S S. His. Kiss. 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 Okay. What about cook? Cook. 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 With T, all the ones that end in K finish with T. Like, 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 liked, liked, liked. okay, low, 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 okay, let's see now uh, some exercises with irregular and irregular verbs. Irregular verbs change, right? They change the spelling and change the, some of them change the pronunciation. Okay, so what is the past tense of this? He have. Have. Had. 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 He had a, he had a dog. Okay. Uh, he took. Um, took. He took. He took. He took. He took. Right. Took. He took some medicine. Took. He took some medicine. It was. It was rainy. It was, was rainy. It was rainy. It was just rainy. It was drunk. Drunk. Drunk some water. They were. Where, where, in where the park, like right. The pass of R. Mm -hmm. Next slide. She gave him something in the she gave. sky. Gave. She gave him some medicine. Mm -hmm. So he saw so, 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 something in the sky. Something in the sky, okay. Uh, next. She ate, she ate, she ate, some, ate vegetables. some vegetables. She ate some vegetables. Ate. Went. Went. She went. went. She went. She went. He went. He went to work. work. He went. Exactly. He went to work. Very good. So you know the past tense of these verbs. Now, um. Again, we have more sentences and you're going to help me. Last week, I made, mm -hmm. I made an appointment and go to the doctor. doctor. Mm -hmm. I felt, I felt, I felt I, a lot, a lot. I began. Begin, begun, begin, begun. The pain began. 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 After I fell. Fell. I fell. I fell playing soccer. The reception is. Told. Told. The reception is. To call. I am. On Tuesday. On Tuesday after I ate. On Tuesday after I ate. I ate. Breakfast. I draw. I draw. I draw. I draw. I forgot. 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 To bring insurance. What is the pronunciation? Insurance. Eh? 
insurance form. Luckily, the doctor's office has that information on their computer. The doctor finally so. The doctor What is the password fine? Found. 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 The doctor found. Doctor found no fracture on the ligament. The doctor found no fracture or torn ligament. He said. How do you say said? He said I should take some pain medication for a week or so. Doctor. Doctor. Wrote a prescription and gave gave it to me. I went to the pharmacy. At the pharmacy, I also bought bought some Bengay. Brought. I brought some. I brought. Both items home. Me. Can you? I knew. No. I knew. I knew. I knew. You would be feeling better soon. Okay. It was a story. Thank you for finish, completing the story with me. Excellent way of using the past irregulars. Okay, nice, very nice. So we were reviewing the past tense and I see that you can use them very well. So now I would like to listen to your presentations about the famous deaf person. Are you ready? Who is ready for the presentation? One, two, three, four. Everybody. Okay. Who is ready to talk about a biography of a deaf, famous deaf person? I'm ready, but I can't turn on the camera. Don't worry, don't worry, Margarita. I'm gonna share what you sent to me. Okay. You sent a PowerPoint presentation about Diana, the Princess of Wales. Yes. Okay, it's loading. You can start. Diana, Princess of Wales. She was born on July 1st, 1961, and she died on August 31st, 1997, in Paris, France. She was married with Charles, Prince of Wales, on July 1981. She had two children, Prince William and also Prince Harry. Her kindness, her concern for people in need, her interest in six children made her known as the Princess of the People. And there are too many things to say about her, but I I can make more. Sorry. Okay, thank you, Margarita. 
thank you for your effort and for sharing. Okay. Who mm -hmm. else is ready? Okay, Ruth. It's about to Pedro Infante. <laughs> okay. Uh, he worked in 1933 and started to career in singer modestly in 1943. And there are many albums for your career and began to interpret this different uh, music, but uh, especially ranchera. I don't know how to say ranch. Ranchera. Um, but ranchera. Theater, ranch, okay. Ranchera. Um, ranchera, okay. Um, Pedro Infante, uh, he liked to, to, to sing a song. And there are many, many movies in your life. But uh, he had an accident. And he, he died in 1957. Causa to expect the similar disappear in the avionet. And he don't, no le encontraron, how do you say? Don't miss, don't let. He wasn't that. found, he wasn't found. He was the fans. And only remember, and this, this uh, sing, singer, this singer in this time. Okay, yeah, he was never found, right? He disappeared in the yes. airplane. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why did you choose to talk about Pedro Infante? Why? My father liked, my father liked this singer. And all the time he, he sing a song, uh, Deja que salga la luna. <laughs> but... And he he sing me, he sing me all the time. He, I remember this song for him. Okay, because he, my my father died twelve years ago. Ago, twelve years I'm ago. I'm sorry. So it's a good memory of your father. Yes. Uh -huh. Your father used to sing uh, Pedro's Infante songs to you. Okay, Ruth, yes. thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay, who else is ready? Mayra, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Uh, Selena Quintanilla born on April 16, 1971 in Lake Jackson, Texas. She was destined to be a star. Her career started at a young age when she became the lead singer in her family's band, Selena, Selena y Los Tinos. She went on to become an award-winning artist with albums like Amor Prohibido and Selena Live and earned the title Queen of Tejano Music. She was married to Chris Perez. They had no children. He died on March 31, 1995 in Corpus Christi, Texas, United States. Okay, Mayra, thank you so much. Thank you so much, yes. Selena. Yeah, she was very famous, right? And yes. she died at a she very died young age. Yes, very young. Good. And she was very talented. Okay, who else? David? Okay. <laughs> I, I'm going to speak about uh, Michael Jackson. Uh, his full name was Michael Joseph Jackson, but it was more popular known as Michael Jackson. He was born in 1958 in Los Angeles, 
USI. Sorry. He was a famous singer, composer, and, and a dancer. He, he used to dance very well. And he the kind of music that he used to sing was hard rock, uh, rhythm, um, blue, soul, and funk, disco, and dance, I remember. Uh, he began his career between the 60s. And he became very famous by his popular song, Billie Jean. is the most popular song of him. But he died in 2009. Yes? Yeah, 2009. <laughs> okay, he died in that year. Okay. Good. Thank you, David. Good job. So yes, Michael Jackson was very famous also for his dance, right? And mm -hmm. how yes. did he die, David? How did he die? I um, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I was a fan because of the most popular song Billie Jean. I was saying, um, but uh, I I remember I was um. 11 years old, and I heard about the uh, news that he died by um, and una cirugía, parece. Surgery? I think it was an overdose. Yes, yes. Overdose. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah that's, the, that's the way he died. <laughs> okay, thank you, David. Who else is ready? Who else wants to share about a famous deaf person? Oh, look at baby, he's gonna uh, drink a cup of coffee. <laughs> so he's ready to listen to the other classmates talking about a famous deaf person. Nobody else? Isaura, Nubia, Evelyn, Miguel, Saúl, Jenny, Glendy, Renato, Kenny, Adriana, Karen, Ana Silvia. Glendy. Okay, if there's none more people, is there someone else? I will ask you about, I will ask about you, your biography. Me teacher. <laughs> okay, Karen. Okay, um, my biography is uh, the Anna Frank, Annalise Mary Frank. Now in Spain as Anna Frank, uh, she was born in June 12th to, no, June 12th, 29, um, no. But 1929. 1929, yes, to 1945, was a German girl girl with Jewish descent. Mm -hmm. um, she she was um, read the no escribió teacher write write the the diary, diary of Anna Frank mm -hmm. edition is private private um record the the war on the Nazis in Amsterdam uh, during World, World War II. Um, 
she she's father was Otto Frank is a uh, only su survivor of the eight in in the war. Um, Anna uh, was sent to the Nazi concentration camp at Auschwitz. Um, she that she was died in nineteen forty forty four or maybe. 1945, more or less. Only teacher, thank you. Okay, thank you, Karen. Yes, that is la, um, her diary became very famous, right? Because she wrote all the experiences that she had in the concentration camp. Okay, thank you, Karen. Well, right, yes, Karen Elizabeth? La otra Karen. <laughs> yes, Karen Bernal. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ay, permítame si me puedo abrir. Ok, let's see. Um, I will speak of the poet Pablo Neruda. Pablo Neruda. Sebdonid of the Nestalí Ricardo Reyes Basualto. Uh, she was born in 1904, Santiago de Chile. She died in 1973. Uh, Chilean poet, Spanish American, lyric figures of the 20 years century will most widely read a book in the history of the poetry. 20 love poems and a song of despair. I love that poem I recited, recite, I recited it at the university. He's, he's one of the, I love the, the the poem, eh, 20 poemas de amor y una canción desesperada. That's all, teacher. Okay, and is Pablo Neruda still alive or is he dead? He's dead. Oh, really? I didn't know he's dead. Okay. Thank well, you. Thank you. I love the, the poem. I love the different poem, the Pablo Neruda. It's, it's excellent. Okay, I will try to, to read that poem, 20, no, 200 poems of love and a sí. desperate song. <laughs> Puedo escribir los versos más tristes esta noche. Escribir, por ejemplo, la noche se estrella y tiritan azul en los astros a lo lejos. <laughs> no lo puedo todo. <laughs> wow, Karen. I wish we could have more time so that you can recite the poem, the complete poem. <laughs> okay, yeah. thank you, Karen. We are going to listen to Giselle Marie Hernandez. Okay, teacher. Uh, can I see the Picture. We can see. We can Celia see Cruz. Celia Cruz. Yes. Azuka. Uh, she is born October 21, uh, 1925, in Havana, Cuba. Died July 16, uh, 2003 in New Jersey, USA. She's Cuban American singer who returned for decades the queen of salsa music. And Celia Cruz grew up in Santo Suarez in Havana. After a high school, is she is a normal student. After a winning a talent show, show 
she interpret the tango piece nostalgia in bolero Celia Cruz interp interrupt her studies for single character uh, uh, signs about 25 years Cruz sang regularly in radio in television um, Field products in Mexico. Um, record with la Sonora Mantacera. Cruz is a, the famous Habana tropical in around the world. Only that teacher. Okay. Thank you, Giselle Marie. I, I have a question for you. Why did you choose to talk about Celia Cruz? Excuse me? Why did you choose to talk about her? Uh, because I like the salsa music. You like her music? Yes. Yeah, it, it, I mean, they are very upbeat. Makes you feel up <laughs> makes you feel good right when you listen yes. to her <laughs> okay thank you thank you Giselle Marie you can stop sharing thank you okay who else is ready Well, guys, thank you for your participation. I really love listening to the students speaking English. So thank you for preparing for this activity, for having the, uh, you know, the, the braveness to talk or to speak in front of the others. <laughs> I don't know if somebody else is ready. Jenny, you got home finally. <laughs> I did just, yes, I finally went home. Okay, Jenny, are you ready to speak? My computer is reset. Okay, we need to wait for a moment. Please. Okay, Esaú, Jairo, Miguel, Nubia. Ana, Silvia, Glendi, Renato, Kenia, is Saura. Saura is very quiet today. Hi, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I will try, but. <laughs> okay, yes, you can okay. do it. My favorite singer is uh, Charlie Sa, but he is born in Colombia in 1974. <clears throat> he a, a bolero en salsa en cumbia. <laughs> yeah. Um, he is very handsome. <laughs> in the voice is a very special in the in the voice is very um, suave. <laughs> so, so okay. Um, the the best song is a um, Flor Sin Retoño. Is the best song with, with his. And he is alive. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. He's yes. not and he he the end of music in two hundred two thousand oh 
Oh, night. I remember. Uh -huh. um, only that. <laughs> what is his name? Can you repeat, please? I don't remember the name of the art artist. Name is Charlie Sa, but the, his name is Carlos Alberto Sanchez. Oh, that's his real name. Yes. Okay. Where is he from? In Colombia. He's from Colombia. Yes. Okay. Charlisa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, thank you, Saura. I don't know if Jenny is ready. No yet. No teacher. My computer is dead. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> it's a rebel computer. <laughs> okay. So what now? Well, guys, I have here and I'm gonna share something. Give me a moment. Okay, we have this reading here about Joan Che. Do you know these film terms? We, we are gonna uh, read a little bit about um, a famous actress, Joan Chen. And we have these uh, words here, actor or actress, agent, director, film, studio, producer, and leading part. The movie, or oh, one of the, this picture is from the movie, The Last Emperor. Okay, I would like a volunteer to read the first paragraph, if you can see it. Just let me... Hey, teacher. Okay, Isaura, you read the first paragraph. David, you okay. read the second paragraph. Okay. Okay, you start, Isaura. Okay. John Cheng is famous both in China, where she grew up in the United States, where she now lives. How did Joan become a famous actress in two countries? It's an interesting history. Story. Story. Joan Chen was born in Shanghai in 1961. When she was 14, some people from a film studio came to her school and chose her to study to study at the studio. She was happy about this chance, about this chance, but mainly she liked the idea of getting out of school. Soon, however, she discovered that she really liked acting. At age 18, she won the Golden Rooster, China's top film award. Okay, next paragraph. Me? Ruth. In the late in 1970, John parents, who were doctors, moved to the United States. Joanne joined it, then when she was 20 and went to college there. Her parents hoped she would study medicine. Instead, she majored in field and later looked for work in, as an actress. The work in the United States, Joan had to start all over again. She told Hollywood again that she was an actress in China, but she only got some small parts in TV shows. And the last paragraph. Okay. Me teacher. Okay, Jane. Uh, one day, Joan, Joan went to a to a director. Así es la pronunciación, director. Director. Director who was making movies. Called Taipan. The uh, interview didn't go too well as she walked away. 
a man in a car not 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 said ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa? Noticed. 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 Her. The man was lleno de de la Ay, no veo que estoy en el de Laurentis. De Laurentis, Laurentis. the films produ producer. Eh, he immediately offered offered offer her offered her a learning part leading leading part, part. a year later she started in Bernardo Bertolucci Ber Bernardo Bertolucci's the last emperor como es emperador Emperor, the last emperor. The last emperor and was on, on her way to worldwide fame. Thank you. Okay. So as you notice in this um, text, I'm talking about a famous actress. Well, not so famous because I don't know much about her. <laughs> But um, it was a, a famous actress in China and in the United States. And if you notice here, we have a sequence of events. First, we mentioned that she was born in Shanghai. So if you notice, when we want to say when a person was born, we use the verb to be in the past, was. Joan Chen was born in Shanghai in 1961. Do you remember we studied that at the beginning of the course? We were practicing I was born in Ilopango in 1993. I was born on February 17th, 1993. Or I was born in La Libertad, etc. So we say, we don't, we don't say I born, we say I was born or he was born. We need to use the was or in plural, where. Okay, and then we we can see in the text that there are, they, it's in the past, right? When she was 14, some people from a few in the studio came to her school and chose her to study at the studio, et cetera. Then it says that in 19, in the late 1970s, Joan's parents who were doctors moved to the United States. Joan joined them when she was 20 and went to college there. Okay, so we have to be careful when we pronounce the past names, right? Especially in regular verbs. Moved, joined, hoped. Her parents hoped she would study medicine. Instead, she majored. She majored in film and later looked, looked for work as an actress. Mm -hmm. So we have to be very careful when we pronounce the regular verse in past, okay? Good, now, um, here in this activity, oops, sorry. Okay. We have to put the events in John Chen's life into the correct order. So we're gonna put them in the correct order. One, the golden roster. Do you remember when? We have appeared in Taipan, left a school and studied at a film studio, a start in The Last Emperor, a studied in film in college, moved to the United States, was born in China in 1961, got her first part in a TV show. So what, number one, obviously, 
she was born in China in 1961. That is the first event, obviously, because she she has to be born. <laughs> what is the second? What is the second um, event in her life? Move to United States. Mm. Less at school and study at the uh, film study. Very nice, Renato. Yes, that is the second. She, uh, yeah. When the when these agents came to her school and chose her to study at the studio, she was very really happy because she liked acting and she preferred to study at the film studio. Okay, then number three. At age 18, she won the Golden Rooster. Won, to, won the Golden Rooster. Exactly. Okay, then what is the next event in her life? Moved to the United States. She moved to the United States. And then when she moved, her parents her parents expected her to study medicine, but she didn't study medicine. She studied film in college. Mm -hmm. She studied film in college. And then got her first part in TV shows, okay. And for then number seven. I started in the last emperor. 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 <laughs> emperor. 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 <laughs> that is the last. That is appeared the last in emperor. the Taipan. Appeared in she Taipan. Appeared, she appeared in Taipan, and finally, she is starred in the last emperor. Okay, very good. Um, now we have some questions here that we can discuss. Do parents and children often have different ideas about careers? No. Uh, yes, uh, they... Uh, but, uh, she studied a doctor. Her parents, her parents wanted her to study medicine, but she didn't want to be a doctor. She wanted to be a actor, an actress, an actress. Okay, the other question is, why is it sometimes difficult for people who move to another country to keep doing the same work? Why is it sometimes difficult for people who move to another country to keep doing the same work? So imagine I am a teacher here in El Salvador, but I moved to the United States. Is it, why is it difficult sometimes to yeah, uh -huh. Idioms. Language. Language. Could be the language. Could be the language. Yes, that is a, 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 a an obstacle. Another obstacle. Culture. The culture. And I would I would also say discrimination Please, sometimes the for immigrants. Mm. Yeah, so there are people who are professionals in their countries, but when they move to United States or another country, they first. <laughs> oh, they money. They end up working as waiter, waitress, or doing other jobs. Legal legal status, creo que sea. Yeah, legal status. Yes, that is another obstacle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you for your opinions. Good. Okay, Jenny, is your computer ready? No, teacher, my computer don't don't work tonight. But do you remember 
Tama Eating vacation. <laughs> Or is somebody else ready to share about the biography of someone? One. Mm -hmm. Let's see. No one. Hido. And you, Hido? Or maybe you can tell us about a person in your family. <clears throat> the purpose of this activity, guys, is for you to speak and practice. Uh, organizing your ideas. Sure. Okay, Kenya. Biography of Diego Armando Maradona. Maradona was born on October 30, uh, in 1960, at the Hospital International de Agudo Cevita in Lanus Oeste. By circumstance, he was the five of eight children. Uh, the first song from the marriage between Diego Maradona and Dalma Salvador Atota, Franco. His family, originally from uh, Squina, Corinthian province of uh, and of Galician designs. From the first moment in which he played ball, he, he was inclined to practice offensive soccer. His first contact uh, with the world of soccer came in uh, 1969, when he tried off to enter the lower division of the Argentinos Juniors Club. Maradona was raised in the neighborhood of Villa Villa Fiorito. Maradona was saying, to the youth division of Argentinos Juniors, uh, where he spent five uh, uh, seasons ob obtaining of obtaining the record of being to the top score in the Argentine Championship five consecutive times in 1981. He he was transferred to Boca Juniors, where he won the Metropolitan Championship. His only was his only title in in in, Arge, in Argentina after the 1982 World Cup in Spain. Maradona became became the first footballer um, to achieve to record of being the most expensive transfer in the world twice when he was uh, transferred to Barcelona for 730 million euros and then to Napoli in Italy for uh, 12 million uh, euros. In Spain, Diego will win three national tri trials before ending up in Italy in 1984. There, Maradona became uh, one of the most important public figures in Nap Naples, leading uh, the team to the Scudetto twice, uh, 1987, uh, 1990, uh, and the UEFA Cup in the institution on international title. After a seven season as a Napolitan, in which he finished as the all time to score. Maradona left Italy after obtaining his first posit posited for uh, for doping in the uh, 1991 season. In the final stage of the, his career, he played for Sevilla and Neville's house boys before returning returning to Boca Juniors in uh, 1995 and finally retiring in 1997. With the Argentine national team, Maradona was champion champion of the uh, 1979 Jude World Cup and with the seniors of the 19, uh, 
HD Sips World Cup in Mexico as the cap time in which he will start in one of the most or or, or stating individual uh, performance performance in the history of the sport by scoring uh, the two famous goals that gave victory um, to his stand in the match against England in the quarters finals. The first of them now as the hang of good of good and the second as the goal of the century design designed by a bot of the FIFA as the best in the history of the 20th century World Cup. Maradona has been listed as one of the best soccer players in the history of world soccer, considering him for that season as the god of soccer. For just for years, Maradona battle battle addition to drops, medication and alcohol, uh, which ended uh, ended up significantly marking marking most moments he in his life after retiring from football. In uh, recent recent years, Maradona had managed to con to control in his addition to strong drops, uh, held up. Uh, he was uh, still addicted, addicted to drugs and uh, alcohol. This in tour began to affect his health in 2019. Uh, he had to undergo an operation to control stomach uh, bleeding caused by a gastric bypass place, placed in uh, 2005. On November 2, 2020, he was admitted for a picture of anemia and depressions. At the time of his death, he was convales convalescent after undergoing surgery uh, to correct a subdural hematoma on his dead head. On his head. Uh, finally, Maradona died on the morning of November um, 25, 2020, at the age of uh, 60 at his residence located in Dike Luján. Tigre district due to cardiac discompensation that caused pulmonary eh, pulmonary eh, edema. Edema. Okay, Kenya, thank you so much. Wow, that was the whole story of Maradona. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank okay. you. I'm just going to take the attendance quickly, okay? Um Adriana Gonzalez. Ana, here. Okay, Ana Silvia Rodriguez. I'm here, teacher. Blanca Guadalupe Benavides. Here, teacher. Blanca Margarita. Eh, David Alonso. Present. Esaú Ismael. I'm Evelyn, here. Okay, Evelyn Marroquín. Present, teacher. Francisco Villafuerte. Glendy Flores. Here, Giselle Marie, Isabra Evelia Vázquez. Present teacher. Hey, Jairo Moss. I am here. Hi, Josué Miguel por ti. I'm here. Karen Elizabeth. Present teacher. Karen Yvette. Karen Yvette Villanueva, she was there. <laughs> Kenia Corbera. Present Leslie Victoria Morán. Luis Ariana Guerra. Mayra Patricia Pérez. Present. Thank you, Mayra. Nerlin Jaciel Flores. Ninrob Saúl Guzmán. Nubia Cristina Morales. Oscar. Present. Ok, Nubia. Oscar Alexander Santal. Renato Ramírez. Present teacher. Ruth Beltrán. Present teacher. Jenny Carolina. Ok, people, thank you for connecting to the class. We still have one more class on Monday, ok? So see you on Monday for the last class of the Monday. intermediate one. <laughs> Have a nice weekend. See you Monday.
Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.